Hi there. So this is a continuation really from the topology video of, of, uh, that I did previously that just dealt more with polygons with areas. Uh, there's a link to that in the description. I just wanted to cover off uh, a bit about lines and I'll um, sort of line objects, line features, and I'll, and I'll do a sort of few more out of these and sort of build up a more complicated multi, multi geometry relationship in the topology. So, but in this one, I just want to cover off lines so you can see how straightforward it is really to use a topology wizard. Um, again, just as we did before, you need to make sure everything that may or may uh, that may be involved in your uh, topology uh, rule set is um, in a feature data class. So make sure you've you've got that. So what have we got here? Well, I've got some sort of random hand drawn line objects uh, supposed to represent some kind of utility. Uh, the green ones, the sort of idea that they're electric cables or planned. Um, not much data there, but the black lines are um, uh, some uh, perhaps their existing objects, features, I don't know, um, other utilities, whatever, something anyway. Um, and they've got a subtype. You see how it says this is okay to intersect. Um, and if I click, uh, if I click on uh, this one, what subtypes up? This is not okay. And this one, um, uh, this is not okay. So I got a subtype there. You see. So if I just go into that data design subtype and create manage you can see I've just got these two so on this demo line work uh, they can be one of two codes at the moment two subtypes I've done that just to introduce another level of, of complexity to the topology rule set because I don't want to say do you simply are they intersecting or not because they can't intersect I want to say well they can intersect as long as the subtypes correct that's what I want to say so let's get on with it right click new topology you won't have that option unless you've got uh, advanced not just pro I'm not sure about the one in the middle um, but certainly basic you don't get this topology so I'm dealing with the line features so it's just those two in the top there let's just name this say my topo rules and um, I'll put underscores in I'm not sure it's, it, it, it's um, be happy with spaces actually um, anyway, I'll put underscores in. So, uh, so yeah, so it's just these two line features I want part of the uh, rule set. And I want to say if I draw a demo line work, um, it m so I, I'm, I can now just click on what I want to click on. So it must not intersect with lines. So you see I've got this line dash line option. So it must not intersect with. That's what I want to say with another line effectively. Lots of other options there. And we'll sort of do a few more in the future. Um, so nothing to do with areas, nothing to do with points. So I click on that. Um, and what's this uh, sort of what's this intersection rule about? Well, it's those it's those green objects. It's that planned electric cable stuff. This this these green features. Now that would just straight off work because it's going to say that the topology rule is it is it is it can't intersect. End of story. But actually, I want to say um, that it, it, it can intersect, intersect as long as it's OK to intersect. So if it's set not OK and intersects, then that will fail topology. So I'm using my subtype there. I could have some kind of matching subtype on the on the other feature class where, where the, the um, with that relationship as well. So I can sort of compare subtypes as a, a, an additional kind of rule there. But I'm just set, just picking up the one subtype from that feature. If that feature is of this subtype, um, uh, it must not intersect with that. So I say next. Uh, it's a summary page, this in the wizard, just tells you what's going on, whatever, whatever the tolerance settings you've set. Let's do finish. And it creates it. And there we go. And it's put it inside, if I click down here, inside the, see my topo rules. So it's inside the data set. So you can see how this data set is working very much as a container. It's got your features, your feature classes, as well as the actual topology um, rules themselves. Now I can right click on that and go straight to validate, and that will run it. I could 
add, add the topo rules to the map, right click and say add to current map. And because it's topology, it'll come up with this whole sort of error display visualization um, set of layers, these groups layers, uh, air, areas that fail, points that fail, line um, or point locations that fail, line issues um, that act, lines themselves that actually fail, um, polygon fails, that sort of thing. So that's what gets added there. And if I, if I was going to start drawing stuff and I went to edit and I wanted to create things or modify, then, it, then don't forget, you have to make sure no topology is set to the rules that you want to apply, so my topo rules. So and now anything you do will be um, impacted by the rules. But in fact, I just want to um, just validate, really. So um, if I, uh, and, and like I said, I can right click from there and go, go straight into it, or let's just under the edit, go to Air Inspector. With Air Inspector, uh, make sure map extent is not checked. Because if you check it, it'll only check within the area of the map. Um, so it's not. And so when I click validate now, and, and note, of course, it's got the right um, source for the topology rules there. So you, there is actually a click down option there. Because you could have multiple uh, topology rules for, for varying um, scenarios. And maybe you want to do what ifs type scenarios and stuff. So I click validate. And straight away, it puts a nice um, dot on the uh, intersection there and and that's correct because this intersection is valid because this object has a particular subtype which is okay to intersect you see I've deliberately said it it's like subtype 2 or something so but this one as a subtype are not okay so you can see how the rules have applied not just the geometry um, sort of location rules the intersection rules those that geometry behavior but also an attribute which happens to be a subtype uh, so that's uh, pretty neat so if you um, click on it down here in the air, air inspector you can do things like um, uh, sorry, zoom and it will set them up but in the preview It'll also put it in here, and this preview gives you the opportunity to do stuff. Details tell you all about the things, uh, so it's put a point at, at where the, the topology error is, uh, and it's got a fixed suggestion. Now, you may just say, well, actually, this is completely wrong, and I need to reroute that line in some manner. Um, that, that, that's fine. Go, go away, modify, do, do whatever, and then topology will, will be fine. But actually, I'm thinking, you know what? I'm just going to split it. It's suggesting split because then you'll, there'll be a, effectively a, um, a no intersection you know, on the whole line object. So I press split and it immediately splits the, um, uh, the feature. So you see now that demo line is um, split into two. You see, it's two features now. And all the same values have been copied across. So the whole feature was um, some value I just put D in that's, that's neither here nor there but the subtype was this is not okay to be anywhere near so you can see it's copied um, all the attribute data to it and now it's all clear if I validate it it'll, it'll, it'll be fine because it's not a, um, as such an intersection there anymore so anyway I hope you um, find that useful that there's a sort of final ending point I suppose on topology because in the, uh, if you go to analysis and tools, you can uh, find the tool add rule and um, you'll see add rule to topology. And if I click that, you can actually effectively um, ap apply additional rules um, to your existing, so you, you input your existing my topo rules and then you can do some other rules um, as long as your feature uh, classes exist that you want to apply them on so there is a sort of manual thing and therefore you could use them in um, your scripting or, or, or what have you note how it's it's warning warning me here with pending edits uh, which is quite true if I go to edit you'll see save because this is split so it uh, there are there are pending edit pending edits due to the topology fix so actually I'm going to discard them um, and you can see what those edits were um, you know what was edited and and these were edited because a, a point um, object was was put in point errors. So uh, discard, yeah, and it'll create a single line again. Um, and off we go. If I click on it, and there's a single line. So anyway, I hope you find that useful. Quick look at lines in topology, and yes, there'll be some more on this. Um, uh, uh, but thanks.
thanks very much. <laughs>